The next example I'd like to give is not up on the screen, but I'll read it out to you, um, is about the, uh, the leader of Turkey, uh, uh, Mr. Erdogan. And the following statements about him um, were stated by one of his former advisors. I guess these are all by former advisors. Once they quit, they feel ready to tell everybody what was going on. Erdogan, the, according to the advisor, Erdogan was as follows. He believes that his own idea of morality should be adopted by everyone. That's dependency on a leader. He divides the lives of his citizens into legitimate and illegitimate in a way that's devaluation of outsiders, outside his cult view. Believes there are parents who want police to monitor the lives of their children. That's avoidance of dissent. He has plunged into these matters with all his sincerity, without considering any strategy, without any doubt that what he is doing is right. This last bit, I think we'll come back to again and again. This profound sense of certainty is a deep mark of political cult thinking, where you don't, broke, broke, you don't accept any dissent whatsoever. Finally, even worse, is that there is not a single person left around Erdogan who has the courage to say, what you are doing is wrong, you can't do it like this. So the avoidance of dissent works perfectly because you basically chuck people out of the cult if they're not following what you want, okay? One final example on dependence on a leader, I just saw it a few days ago, I was watching a, fat, by the way, highly recommended, fabulous documentary about Fidel Castro on the BBC. And, um, in the 90s, Cuba, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, had a lot of problems economically. And the result was a lot of street protests. A lot of Cubans were out on the street demanding systemic change. Castro didn't know what to do initially, but at the end of the day, he went out to the street and met the protesters. Immediately, they fell in line. They worshiped Castro. The protests ended by his very presence. To me, that was a very powerful example of dependence on a leader. Now, importantly, in all these cases, there's a big question which we'll pose, I think, again and again in this course, is when you behave like that, according to how Erdogan behaves or Surkov's recommendation about the Russian system, or even Castro on the street, are you actually resolving the problem the society has? I think that's the a key question for me in looking at all this, do, does cult behavior, dependence on the leader, actually manage to achieve re the proper resolution for our problems?